How often should you get a digital brand audit done? Audits generally happen annually, but depending on your business goals and how new you are as a brand, you can opt to get audited once in six months. From the point of view of your content strategy and paid for campaigns, you don't want to end up losing a lot of money. In such situations, a micro audit as frequently as once a week can help you strategize better. Who can do a digital brand audit? Your digital marketing team should ideally be giving you regular reports on basic analytics related to website performance, SEO, and social media accounts. You'd ideally want to get your team's monitoring and report verified by a third party. This is where consulting firms play a significant role. In their audit, consultants cover a huge range of metrics. Your team might be following specific schools of thought in digital marketing, content, SEO, design, or social media analytics. Consultants can help you get the larger picture emerging from all these individual audits. For example, you might be looking at reducing the bounce rate of your website to 20% and beating yourself up a lot over it. Consultants can tell you how the bounce rate of your website compares with that of your industry. Consultants can also tell you how the results of different analytics apply to the stage your brand is on. Because a digital brand audit is not like an accounts audit, you may not find a standardized approach that will fit you. After understanding where you stand on the matrix of digital evolution and adoption, consultants can decide which approach fits you and determine what you should do with the findings. If you are an established brand and you have a good budget set aside for your digital marketing purposes, your goal is more likely to keep your communication in sync with your customers' preferences, habits, and dispositions. If your brand is plateauing, which means new customers are hard to acquire, the findings of the audit can help you understand how to fix customer acquisition and retention. If your brand is degrowing, or your old customers are leaving you, your objective might be to do some damage control. If you are planning to come up with a brand, you'll need an audit for a feasibility study. The audit, in this case, will scan the ecosystem for you and determine the benchmark for your new brand to meet. A digital brand audit tells you how your brand is performing across all your assets and engagement axes. Finally, what happens if you leave your brand unaudited? If you are not proactive about getting your digital brand audited, you are more likely to repeat any mistakes you've been making so far. Further, you delay enjoying the fruits of all that you invest in your brand today. Branding has traditionally been considered the domain of brochures, display advertising in trade events and exhibitions, or print ads if the budget is good. Brand strategy too has been left to the ad agencies but the playing field of marketing has expanded. There are innumerable channels to keep track of while analyzing brand communication. You may have posted something on Facebook alone but thanks to the ease of shareability, you'll find the post on private groups on messaging apps. How have you been keeping track of so many assets? How have you been collating the data from all the metrics? Do you have a process to convert the data into insights and insights into action? Your answers to these questions will determine what quality of digital brand audit you have been having. We and all the readers of this blog will feel enriched if you could share your experience of digital brand audit, your process, your challenges, and your learning. Want to test your brand? Get in touch with us. www.thedigitalfellow.com Contact us plus 919967 Six three zero three two nine.